Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Karen. In today's video, I'd like to review a pattern I recently completed and it's the jumpsuit by um, Brittany J. Jones. It's ME2063, that's ME2063. Um, I don't think I did this one well, but um, let me get into it. So my concerns with this one is the pattern says uh, the sizing. I think I did the smallest size, which was a 10. Um, I don't think a 10 is the right fit because I think I need more room in um, the jumpsuit. So the 10 bust finish measurement is 38 and a half inches. The waist is 40 and the hip is 42 and a half. So I did that one because except for the waist, everything else was okay. Um, I used a brushed twill, um, which was not the recommended um, fabric, but I figured more or less I, I could still get it off. So I used this uh, fabric I had from mood.com. I can't get it on the mannequin so you can actually see what it looks like done. So I actually tried it on and I'm gonna add uh, picture or a video somewhere in here so you can actually take a look at it so again i think i'm gonna make it again but i'll make it in in, in the recommended fabric i didn't want to try linen because of the jumpsuit and i was scared of having gaping in the back or something like that but i i it's i love it i'm gonna do it in a black or maybe several colors. I'm gonna do it in a black because I absolutely love it. I love it for the lapel at the front and it has uh, the side pockets in there. You can't see it, but the side pockets are in there. Um, there is the zipper fly. There. I think I got that down well. And of all the flies I've done, which wasn't, isn't a lot, I think Brittany's um, instruction for the fly was absolutely amazing. For me, it made it so much easier and I ended up having um, to close it correctly at the base so there's no hole or gaping or anything like that. So I absolutely like that. Um, I'm gonna open and show you the other side. Of course, I like this one because it's hard to show you when I can't put it up. This has, after you have the zipper in here, it has this piece that comes over right here with a button and it has um, button holes under here so you can actually close it and create that lapel. Um, I didn't uh, line it this time, I just not lined. I did not use anything on the um, facing. I just uh, turned it on and on itself and just um, stitched it. Um, for this one, because it has the elasticated back, what I did was just create the bias tape, kind of hemmed it, um, kind of opened it, kept it open so that I have piece going in here which I don't know what I'm gonna do, hand stitch or something right like that to finish it. And then the elastic starts at the back. So it's like right in here where I stitch in the uh, seam so you wouldn't see it. And then across here, I just use the handmade um, bias state the same. Again, the elastic is just for the back and I'm not sure how I'm gonna finish this, hand stitch or just machine stitch. But I didn't want a machine stitch and then it shows on the outside. So this side is gonna have the two buttons. The other side I have is the buttonhole. This side is gonna be the two buttons. So this piece is all done. I'm gonna turn it and show you the inside. The fly piece of this is my favorite, and then um, I'm gonna have to give this a wash again because I tried putting it on the dress form so you can see it. 
and I have spots all over it, but. Okay, so here is, here is my fly. And again, I, this is my favorite piece of it, the fly. Let me see if I can close it and then, um, So there is my fly right there. I really like it. it's really neat with um, this pattern. Again, um, I just use handmade bias tape to finish the um, the ends of the uh, fly and the cover itself. And then um, for the pockets, of doing French seams so for the pockets I just used the casing again and did the pockets to finish here of course I did <laughs> French seams right there even though I said I was tired of it yeah I just did it like right there I also did it on the ends so both side seams are French seam again uh, bias binding for the pockets kind of like the same thing on the inside Buttonholes are here and the button is supposed to go here and close this shut like this. I really love this pattern. It's just that again, I did fabric that is twill. I love the color, but the fabric has uh, a little flexibility, just a little. It's not a thick twill, so I figured more or less I could use that. Um, this calls for one and a half inch um, hem. But I did mine a little shorter because I needed more room. But overall, I love it. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> the facings go up all the way here. And then this part, I had to hand stitch, which isn't my best work, but hey, it's a part of the process. There's a thread. <laughs> so basically, this is what it looks like. I did friend seams on the um, back under the arm yeah so overall I really like this pattern again I'm gonna do it in a linen and probably a black I have some poplin back there I'm gonna try that with it and see if I get the desired feel or look I'm going for but I think it's really a nice pattern I absolutely love it and will make it again um, I don't know I'm thinking of making this one, but where will I wear it to? So I'm sticking with this one. Um, I like the fact that it looks classic. It looks stylish. It's a jumpsuit all in one. I don't know how the ba bathroom piece is gonna go, but I think it's really cute with the lapel. And maybe if I do um, something that's not in a print, I'll be able to show um, the design of it. Just really show it. But again, with the fly and the overlapping piece, I really like the way it turned out. So basically, this is all I've got for you for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.